was established in 1994 as a result of a strong partnership between the Chinese government and the European Union. Today, she's 25 years. I'm talking about uh, a school that's the first in Asia or Asia-based school to have achieved global ranking for its MBN EMBA programs. I'm talking about the China Europe International Business School, and I've been joined by two top executives. Professor Ding Yang is the vice president and dean of uh, the school, and Professor Matthew Chamini is executive director of Saves in Africa. And Mr. Samuel Oklu Jabba is an alumni conference affairs manager. He couldn't join us on set. But Profs, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and you. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Interesting. Okay. So 25 years down the line, uh, let's talk about what you do, first of all, and then we'll talk about achievements, Profs, that we Yeah. So the school was created, as you said, uh, early 1990 to support the Chinese development mm. uh, from a multinational perspective at the beginning. Right. So the, the early mission of the school was to create suitable talent okay. based in China, working mm. for Chinese but also multinational companies. Mm. And then later on with the strengths of the Chinese economy and the expansion, mm. so we started to work globally and try to train managers who are interested in China okay. or working with China. So then that's why 11 years ago we came to Africa and right. to Ghana. Mm. Let's talk about, Professor Chairman, let's talk about yes. the African invasion, if you like, and, and the, the gains we have made so far. How's yes. it been? I think it's been an excellent journey. I think the whole idea started because we want to replicate uh, what was done in China right. back in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so far, the 11 years, I think, we've been to a number of countries. Right. Of course, Ghana is our base. Mm -hmm. But then beyond Ghana, we've been to Nigeria. Okay. We run very vibrant programs in Nigeria. Okay. We've been to Cote d'Ivoire, okay. South Africa. Mm -hmm. Zambia, Kenya, and Kenya, Kenya, of course, well. okay, yeah. and Ethiopia, Ethiopia, which is one of our vibrant yeah. markets. I see. Yes. Let's talk about achievements yes. within these 25 years, and, exactly. uh, 11 years since we've been in Africa. Okay. What have we achieved? We want to yeah. test that. So if you look at, as you mentioned, the global rankings, right. so we are constantly number one in Asia, and especially with the Financial Times ranking based okay. in London, we are now number five for the EMBA, exactly okay. MBA, also number five for the full-time MBA. Okay. So the big achievement achievement, I would say partially thanks to our operations in Africa, mm -hmm. especially for the global EMB where, where we achieved number five worldwide. Mm -hmm. This is by far the most diversified okay. EMB program in the world right. with participants from Asia, from mm -hmm. Europe, from mm -hmm. also from Africa, mm -hmm. and they have a required module in Ghana. So right. that makes the program very, very attractive mm -hmm. to Chinese, mm -hmm. to Africans, and also mm -hmm. to Europeans. Interesting. Let's talk about how they graduate from your school. Yes. I mean, have been able to impact the world in many different ways, and especially from an African perspective. Okay. How different are they from other graduates? Okay. I think our programs are very practical and with a focus on basically innovation and entrepreneurship. And what you've seen is that even a number of our graduates who are from the corporate world okay. have actually transitioned into entrepreneurship. Okay. We run a very successful women entrepreneurship program with a focus on basically helping these women mm. to scale up their businesses okay. and also to connect them back to our alumni mm. in China. Mm -hmm. And within a corporate environment, we've been very successful in right. training a lot of executives, okay. uh, both in Ghana. So we work with Talo, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, we do some things with Vodafone, Stambik, and quite a number of, mm -hmm. yes. Highbrow, Highbrow. Okay. Exactly. What but is also, planned okay. for the 25th anniversary? This, what's our plan? So actually, we will start this evening here in Ghana, and then we'll go along with China, and, and also we have a campus in, in Zurich, okay. really to celebrate the the achievement we mm. made over just merely 25 years. Okay. And it's also a way to show our global integration, but we always have a focus, which is China. Okay. Like uh, Professor Matthew just mentioned, right. we are very pragmatic because many of the cases and experience we summarized in China for the past 30 year okay. Chinese success story, mm. we can implement okay. to, to, to right. Africa. To Africa okay. And also we try to link one to one these executives because the day before yesterday i was in nigeria mm -hmm. i was talking with some lady uh, entrepreneurs and they are interested to introduce the exotic uh, african products into the chinese market okay. through the new channels mm -hmm. and yesterday we have one of the the founding team 
person from mm -hmm. Alibaba mm -hmm. just in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we just try to link these two teams mm -hmm. and they can work together to set up something to, to sell. So, so the reality yeah. is what we're talking yeah. about, the Absolutely. practicality yeah. of what Absolutely. it is. In the, we're 25 now. In yes. the next 25 years, which will be our 50th, what is the plan? I think the, yeah, the plan is basically to expand more into Africa, to make more impacts okay. uh, inroads into Africa. And I've always said that we have probably the only true Pan-African mm -hmm. business school. Okay. If you take all the other business schools, Lagos, uh, the top business schools in mm -hmm. Africa, you mm -hmm. go to uh, Lagos Business School, okay. the Mele in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you go to uh, uh, Stellenbosch and okay. Cape Town in mm -hmm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. The Mele in South Africa. Okay. You take Strathmore in Kenya, the Mele in Kenya. And you rest your Ghana Business School. Exactly, and Gimpa, mm -hmm. the mostly in Ghana. But then if you take SIPS or CIBS, mm -hmm. we're everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for us, in the next 25 years, I think the main objective in Africa is actually to expand. Right. Mm -hmm. But also, if you look at the types of programs we run, it's also to uh, diversify. Okay. Mm -hmm. And even though we run a lot of the executive MBAs and MBA program. Mm. We've also done programs for the chiefs. Mm. And for me, it's been one of the innovative programs right. we did actually a few years ago in Kumasi mm. yeah. for the traditional authorities leadership mm. program. Mm. And we're currently discussing with the Ministry of Chieftaincy mm. to actually revive that program. Mm. Okay. So those are the areas that we want you to want focus. To venture it exactly. Like Prof, 30 uh, seconds for you, your yeah. closing thoughts. What's on your mind? I think the, the most important thing is that now the world is changing. For example, if we look at the, the last year or two years ago, the, the trade volume between China and, and Africa, okay. the number is three times bigger than the trade volume between Africa and the U.S. Okay. And also the investment are coming. In order to make this trade and investment successful, we need to work very hard okay. to build the bridge between okay. these two continents. Mm -hmm. And this is really our mission to support the Africans who want to work with China and the Chinese who want to invest in, in Africa right. to make a very successful team together. Right. That's our dream. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best. Happy 25th to all of you. Thank uh, you. Uh, live many, many years longer than and, and to impact society. Professor Ding Yang is the Vice President and Dean of the uh, SIPS uh, globally. And Professor Matthew Chamingy is Executive Director of SIPS Africa. And also like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Samuel Oklu, Chabahese Alumni, and Corporate Affairs Relations Manager, SIPS Africa. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Chairman.